How's it going guys? So today we are working on a trailer. So my dad picked up this trailer in the auction and it was crashed and we're gonna fix it. So we've got some structural damage uh, like with the uprights. We've got the outer skin layer, the front diamond plate, the fascias. So, and we've got a little bit of the support areas like in here. So a couple things we gotta fix. We basically gotten started pulling off all of the screws just everywhere that we're going to take apart. We've decided what we're gonna take apart, what we're not, and then we have everything unscrewed. So that way we can we can just start you know pulling apart slowly and trying to figure out where things are gonna go. And I labeled cups. And he labeled cups, sheet screws. Border screws and diamond plate border screws. Alrighty, so we are back. We went for a nice little ride. Me, Sebastian, and a Papa Bear. But now we're back. We're dead tired, as you can see. Sebastian is napping. <laughs> and this is where we left off with the trailer. We have all the wood off. We have all the metal panels off. Um, all of these metal uh, bars are broken. B bent, sorry, bent, not broken. Um, but we realized that these actually slip inside of them. So these one by ones are going to be perfect. We're going to cut these all short. So we have a little bit of top because the top sections aren't bent. And then we can actually reuse those to um, have like the proper alignment per se. So that's exciting. So we are back next morning. Um, last night, video quality was getting bad because of the light. And on top of that, we were kind of tired. We had a long day. We're getting back at it today. This is where we are currently. So we got the front on with this little support. Behind here, there is another one by one. All welded on. Let me see if I can find you a weld. Let me see if I can see the weld. Doo -doo -doo -doo, right there. So, a couple of them going up, um, and then these, we cut them up here where they were straight, just so we would have the spacing for the top, welded it along the back side of that, uh, measured it so that way it's even, welded it down there, same with this to make sure it's square, put this strap all the way down, and then now we're fixing, uh, there's supposed to be an angle iron that goes down through here, all the way down that holds all these supports in, like this one. So we have the channel down there, and then here we are, uh, we took off the old channel that was like bent, and that's not it, whatever. It was bent and broken. So we cut it, we're gonna put another one in, weld it, weld it, add our uprights we're in coordinate with those spacings, and then we'll get to uh, the outside. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna end this video out here, and I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> because we cut a panel accidentally wrong and we have plenty of materials to finish it. But um, I just got a little frustrated with it and I was like, you know what? Let me take a breather, take a step back. We'll edit this video. Do kind of like the structure as one video and then the sheet metal and all of the details that goes into that, uh, you know, like uh, 5200, all the edges, all the screws, how we screw them in, so on and so forth, the diamond plate, the trimming and all that. So. Uh, all of that can be another video and that will help with length on this video as well. Just to kind of give you guys a recap here. This is us. We straightened out that metal, that metal, and uh, cut the angle iron that was here. 
because it was broken. Put in a new one, new uprights, and put them inside of the old uprights up top where it was straight. And, um, you know, measured it out to make sure that they're all square. And then we are reusing this panel because of the gray. And it's not that bad. So we're going to call it quits here on this video if you guys enjoyed uh the little like how to or whatever fix uh random stuff that we get in the shop all the time we're constantly working on little projects uh atvs um dirt bikes pocket bikes mini bikes uh we do need to do a build video on this thing so this is basically like a tiny little monkey bike with a motor on it so if you guys like the random content let me know down below. Um, I will definitely start including it more in the YouTube channel. Instead of only doing race car stuff, um, I can also have like a different playlist for a bunch of random stuff. So, um, and if you guys are here from the trailer video and you're here to know how to fix your trailer, might wanna consider subscribing. We do some cool stuff with this guy. So yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe guys. Turn the little bell notifications on so that way you guys know when I put a new video. And keep it sideways.